riding Japan. This is riding Japan. And what do we have here? We've got a motorcycle. I found us a motorcycle. A friend of my father's is riding and the wife is riding too. And we've got February now and he, you know, we talked and today is kind of nice weather. I think we've got like what, 10, 10 degrees, 12 degrees or so. And he was visiting my parents and I asked him about the bike and I said, you know, why don't you, why don't you give it to me? <laughs> Can't I borrow one of them? Can I borrow one of those two little ones? And he said, sure, you can. And yeah, I know, I haven't been on this bike. I've just ridden about 100 meter. And he basically took me with him right away. He said, hop in. My father has a quad, as I've mentioned before. And he told me that I could ride the quad. That's why I brought my helmet and that's why I brought my gloves. So the boots are proper, but the jacket and the pants are not proper at all, which is kind of difficult. But other than that, um, you know, I have to be a bit careful. Uh, it's not my bike anyway, so I should be careful anyway, not to do anything stupid. Oopa! And make a fool out of myself. And we are in North Germany. Yeah, this is gonna be our first Germany vlog. And I'm not even sure what to say. There's a few things that I wanted to talk about, something that I may have actually mentioned in another video before. But I'm just overwhelmed that we actually have a video. That we have a motorcycle to make a video with. the most boring road that I could think of I'm taking the main the main road back home and we have the next kind of city is wrong village might be another word for it and in Germany we greet we have to greet we have to greet with a left hand if we find another bike something that I actually quite I'm quite happy with that I don't have to do that in Germany and that I don't have to do that in uh, that I don't have to do that in Japan because I think it's super super annoying like do you greet other bikers there's another vlog topic that's already been you know talk dead by half a million people my problem with the whole thing is that the guy approaches you and you are staring at the biker you are staring at the biker for at least three four five seconds before you start greeting and then you get upset if they don't greet back I don't give a shit. I don't know the guy. If I know you, I greet you. If I recognize you, I greet you. But chances are, even if I do recognize you, I don't really care about you in one way or another. And I don't think it should be that 
important thing, you know. I think it's almost too much of a hassle and it's almost too much of a, you know, the whole thought process behind it. Like, did I create? Did I not create? Did he create me? Did I know him? Did I not know him? Is he going to tell me next time? Is he going to complain? Oh my God, it was a Harley. He created me. I should have created him back. Oh, that's a scooter. No, he's not good enough for getting ever like greeted to be greeted or whatever. So I'm just like, nah, fuck. It. Don't greet anyone. Life's good. And I need some curves. <laughs> but just riding around at a hundred is already quite relaxing. So we are a little quieter. We hit the next 70 zone, 70 zone, blah, 70 zone. I need to get used to speaking English again. I'm not used to speaking English anymore. Yeah, I was thinking about what to talk about and I had a few things that I wanted to mention. The first thing I always, that always hits me like a ton of bricks every time I arrive after a 10 hour flight I, I arrive, I fly over Copenhagen, I go to the restroom and I see those absolutely badly maintained crappy cold toilet seats that's the first time I always think yeah you are not in Japan anymore <laughs> the very first time uh, I see those seats and I this time again I remember seeing them and I remember thinking the same thing every time it's kind of funny like oh this is the same thing again this is like going through my head the same the same thing is going through my head every time wow So that's the first thing. And now, yeah, I mean, we are riding on the right. <laughs> the camera is on the wrong side. If you think about vlogging on a right side traffic lane, I guess. Uh, another thing that I kept thinking about is at home. Again, toilet story. All the seats are fucking freezing. Why has Germany not caught on? Why are all the toilet seats so fucking cold all the time? Welcome to Germany. another quad that's what I was gonna go for <laughs> but I don't think there will be any quad vlogs I don't know how long I am allowed to keep this beautiful piece and it's been really nicely cared for like I'm seriously like parked in the house not in the garage but like you know in an extra party type room with with uh, heating and cloth packed wrapped in and stroked and polished and uh, you know I don't take care as much of my bikes as I should probably 
from yes to compare the bike a little I mean I can give you a bit of a walk around probably in another video but the pegs are higher the pegs are somewhere between the Daytona and the BMW and the seating position is fairly upright compared to the BMW but I've got I still have space between my gut and my tank not like the BMW the BMW's tank is at least 10 centimeter higher uh, this is quite interesting and from curves riding curves uh, it's interesting like I can slide my ass over and stand on the pack a little more much easier than on the BMW it's a bit more aggressive riding position yeah moin I was dreaming again let's take a little detour I have no idea where I'm going this is or where are we going and I'm probably a little inconsistent with the speed just to remind you all that was a kind of city village type thing which means now is 50 uh, 50 kilometers per hour and everything outside is a hundred that sign means that I'm on the main road and these left and right uh, don't have right of way and that line shows me that this city type thing is finished and that the next one is two kilometers away Even the road, the roads look kind of clean and everything. I am not familiar with the bike. But it's fun. And there's the next one. That's, that was two kilometer. Yeah, we've got that same sign as before teach you a little about driving in Germany I guess I'm not sure how many Americans or how many non-German people are actually watching this channel mm -hmm. I did not see a 30 zone now with with 30 zones in Germany you've got to be a little careful because that sign means going straight Hoppala. so this is still a 50 here and over there the 50 zone is done again yes I'm not sure this is another Wednesday video like I said before get a Wednesday video I don't want to 
piss anyone off. I don't want to make anyone angry. Riding Japan, but this is Germany and you are riding around in the countryside and I have no plan of even a proper topic other than saying that hey I've arrived we are here we've been here for a week or two now 10 days sun is finally getting used to the jet lag like the sleeping cycle that's always a big problem getting him to sleep uh, he might wake me up in the middle of the night because he thinks it's morning but it isn't because Germany is eight hours behind so that's a bit of a torture but other than that uh, we have adjusted we've had a lot of rain the first week now we've got a bit of sunshine and I have a bit of a sunny day I want to say maybe I should think of some more topics I don't even know I don't even remember what I what I told people last time it's been so long as you may know the main thing is that I uploaded a video saying I'm going to Germany but before that all of the content all of the Sunday content that you guys are watching that's all been edited back in October and November me preparing for my long trip and I'm sorry I'm kind of a bit strange I want to say and I have no idea where I'm going I have no idea where I even am. I took a left where I should have gone straight because I was sick of that, you know, fast hundred something road. I wanted some curves, but I forgot that this is North Germany and there's no fucking curves in this place. Other than shit smeared farm roads. Yeah, let us go right. Let us see what we can find here. That was 70, but you didn't see that. Boulevard. There's that big road from before. We are crossing that big road now. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the area here or if you are interested in the area or not, but this is basically where I grew up. So I've ridden these roads. I've been everywhere. I've seen everything. I remember riding a motorcycle consisted of getting over the dam I'm gonna show you that in a minute and just getting out there and then just without a plan left and right 
just doing something and doing what you wanted basically and after an hour or two like a full tank was a good indicator sometimes I hit the other coast sometimes I hit the Danish border I never really went to Hamburg all the way and I just decided to turn around and come back home and usually stay take the take the straighter road just to just to relax right just to like get your one gasoline one tank full of relaxation therapy or whatever you want to call it it's gonna be like 20 minutes before we get home I don't think I'm going to edit this whole video I hope you can forgive me because it's just too much of a hassle let's see how many gigabytes this whole thing is uh, I have too much going on at the moment I have to look after my son when I get home and I can't spend three hours at the computer so if you don't like these types of videos from Germany sorry about that you can skip ahead or hit stop or watch another video but I cannot put a lot of effort in this at the moment I have, do not have the time to edit something three hours and this is what it usually takes it takes three hours to edit a video but I'm giving you this no, not uncut but uh, let me scrub through it a little maybe I can do that tonight in bed when the little one is sleeping there's one of the churches here been in there Leo was in kindergarten the other time if you remember I did a video with a lupo it's when I picked him up at the kindergarten over there another 30 zone another school I shouldn't be driving so fast no That grandpa with the camera, with the doggy. That was the police. I saw that correctly. <laughs> this is a hundred road now because we left the we left the town. That last where the guy with the dog was, that was the road where I was allowed to go as fast as I could. Well, until hundred and this is a hundred road now so basically you can't even drive the speed limit like a sane person wouldn't be able to but obviously i was speeding like the last 150 meter and that is another 50 zone the yellow sign and then the 30 zone after that but this oh oh and I have right of way because that kind of crossing there where there's no sign or no traffic light or anything basically means that the person to your right has to go first the person to your left has to wait for you does that make sense in English? I hope it makes sense in English rechts vor links and I have not found an equivalent in Japanese for that I've asked so many people what the rule is who is going first left or right and they never know they can't tell me they always know oh, I don't know there's usually a sign or there's a traffic light or you just figure it out I've had so many people tell me you have you have to figure it out 
like this is like because of the white lines here I'm on the main road now and that V obviously you guys know that V means that I have to wait and give right of way to the other people that is the main road again wind do we have and now we are going to my parents house maybe I should cut the end at the end that you don't exactly know where they live you think about this the last few videos that I've made uh, nobody's written anything other than some negative bullshit about oh, you you need to shift more and you need to stop you know dropping the dirt bike in the dirt because you break it and you should learn how to ride and like, all this negative garbage I'm seriously I'm going to start muting people soon because you know even if I am a shit rider you can tell someone that they are a shit rider without making them feel like an asshole uh, but if you're like you know like on the dirt bike falling on my ass and I write that it's an over a year old video uh, I still get some smart ass shitty comments they didn't even watch the video you know like just fuck off go to another channel I'm not doing this for for monetary gain or as a profession this is just some hobby shit I'm just messing around I don't need your negative garbage so a little rant at the end see you guys on another video riding Japan out thank you for watching thank you for watching this absolute nonsense video take care